What's up? It's your boy Sturdy, and I'm back for another Sturdy review for you. And uh, me and the wife went to go see Scream 6. Had a great time, like we always, always do, going to the movies. But guys, for those of you that know me, you know how I feel about the franchise. I don't like it. It didn't change with this movie, <clears throat> but I'll say I did. Let's start with the positives. Let's start with the positives. The gore. Love the gore. Um, And Friday the 13th. The homage is Friday the 13th. First of all, Scream being in New York City. I'm sure they, you know, Jason takes Manhattan. Well, Scream being in New York City in quotes, because I know a lot of it was also shot in Canada, a la Friday the 13th. There's another one. <laughs> but no, they did show, so there is a scene. It's going to be spoiler-ish, but not too spoilery. Um, <clears throat> But no, they showed, there was a scene where they showed Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Six Manhattan, guy sitting down at a point, and it shows the movie, parts of the movie here and there. Um, Corey Feldman's name is mentioned. Also, people's favorite Friday the 13th. Oh, that's what it was. Someone, final chapter, because they had a crush on Corey Feldman. That's what it was. Uh, and somebody gets thrown through something. Now, those of you who know the Friday the 13th franchise, and you know Jason loves throwing people through shit. He does it in a few movies. Not all of them, but he does it in a few of them. And it happened in this one with Ghostface. So there's some positives. Um, like I said, lots of gore, some cool, some pretty good kills in it. I'll give it that. But other than that, like if you're going to, I'm not going to tell you not to watch a movie. No matter how I feel about a movie, I'm never going to tell you not to watch it. But I will say this. If you have not seen this movie yet, um... Honestly, if you haven't seen this movie yet and say you haven't seen the previous ones in a while and you're like, I want to, ref this is a, this would be good to like refresh, especially on the older ones, just to kind of, you know, I mean, get your memories up, but I'll say refresh through the first five, just watch the first five. If you have time, say if you're going shit next weekend to see it, right? If you're like, I didn't go yet. I'm going next weekend. If you have time to watch those five before this one, I'd say watch it just cause some references, which is a cool thing they do. It's a cool thing they do, but this just doesn't... For whatever reason, I just do not like the Scream movies. As much as i tried <laughs> over the years, as many times as I've watched them over the years. And I know Part Seven's coming out. We've heard that it's going to happen. And I know me and the wife are going to go watch it. And what I might do next year, because Part Seven's supposed to come out next year, what I might do, not definitely, but what I might do is just watch 1 through 6 and then, you know, watch 7 when it comes out. A little closer on sevens, you know, there. But, uh, yeah, just, I just really didn't care for it too much. You know, like I said, it's Scream. It's a Scream movie. It's basically, I, mean, I was just talking to my brother Henry about it. And he was saying that how it's like real self-aware meta. It's like pretty much how they all are. The whole meta term, I guess it's some new shit. But pretty much how they all are, which is whatever. And maybe that's the reason why I don't like it. I don't, I really, I just never... These movies just never grasped, grasped me as far as, just as far as liking them. Like, I'll watch them. I think the best thing I can say is they may be a fun watch, you know, just to watch them. But I'd also say that if I was to watch these movies, like most horror movies, and it's not, I don't know, fear or nothing. This is a horror movie that I feel, actually, no, I say this. And this is, I mean, you can say about any movie, but this is a horror franchise I do feel. For myself, for me to finish a movie, and honestly, just for a better watch experience. But again, you can say it's about a lot of movies, or any movie, as far as the watch experience, is watching this with people. At least one other person, if not a group of people, which, I mean, technically I did both, because I was watching it with the wife. But there was a theater of people, so, group watch. <laughs> But yeah, this is this is a this franchise is a group watch franchise to me. Like, it's I don't know. I just and the only reason I'll even say this too. Like I was talking again. I was talking to my brother just a few minutes ago, and he was saying he probably wouldn't watch this one again. 
unless which I, well I said I would I said I was like yeah same here I said but then again I'll probably watch them all you know when the next one comes out I just uh, this is the first one I've seen in theaters this is the first scream I've seen in theaters people and it's probably not gonna be the last one because if seven comes out and comes out in theaters I'm gonna see that which it is and if they make an eighth one I'm sure me and the wife are gonna go see that as well and so on and so forth but uh, man I Hopefully they end it within the next movie or two. Hopefully they end it within the next movie or two. I see what people... <laughs> I've seen this before. I'm not even going to lie to you. <clears throat> but you know how people complain about franchises. Keep making more and more and more. I almost feel that way about this. But at the same time, I love horror so much. I'm like, just, I'm, we're going to watch it. So, I don't know. I don't know, but I do at the same time I'm contradicting myself because I do hope they end it with either seven or eight and just leave it at that. You don't got to keep doing it. You don't have to keep doing it, Scream. <clears throat> this one, though, again, with the gore, that helped. And the Friday the 13th, that helped. The acting wasn't bad either. The acting didn't bother me. Jenna Ortega's great. Um... Yeah, that's, that's really all I got for you guys. As far as a rating, <clears throat> I'll tell you what. If you guys pay attention to Popcorn and Punch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think it's better than the Indiana Jones movies, and I gave those all a two. So I'll give this one a, a three. I'll give it a three. Like, I, I, I just don't like it. I'm not sorry about it. I'm really not. <laughs> You know, we like what we like and all that other good stuff. But you guys have an amazing evening, night, day, whatever time you're watching this. I'll see you in your nightmares. Peace.